And uh, the major reason is that uh, a lot of people who run that scheme are political appointees yes. for political mm -hmm. expediency and rewards. Yes. Uh, somebody vice for a political seat fails uh, is told that we'll give you a job at an NSSF. So it's a, it's a house of one, political rejects mm -hmm. and people who do not have skills to do the job that uh, they are supposed to be doing there. They are supposed to be doing a very good job, but whatever they do there leaves a lot to be desired. It's purely the issue of governance. They should uh, adopt the Mongozo Code of Conduct and ensure that everything is done above board. Right now, we do not know what is being done there. Pretty much. So somebody would ask you then, indeed, the courts have taken it out on the basis of public participation. You are at the core then of getting affected by this. Should it go back again and then go back to public participation and then it finds itself at the table where it's going to be low now? What are you currently doing there for Festus Ngari as a union then to just make sure that these issues that we're talking about here, once they come back again, they will notice exactly what you need? There are two major things that I'm very happy about the court ruling. Yes. Apart from public participation, there is also the issue of competition. The court also realized in its own wisdom that uh, where there are alternatives and options mm -hmm. and competition, then uh, Kenya's right to choice will never be alienated to them. Yes. So that is a door that has been permanently closed. Because we will not close the competition authority and we will not tell other people who are doing better and competing better than NSSF to close down the shop. They will exist. And we will keep on referring to the ruling because now this is a precedent. Yes. A, a, a law has been made uh, in high court because high court is a court of record. Yes.